So this is um, MathSpace, an um, Australian uh, maths website, uh, which is due to launch uh, in September uh, 2013 in the UK. Um, just a little video to show you how the uh, teacher das dashboard works. Um, I've got my trial class set up in here. Um, so if I click into them, I just really wanted to show you how uh, the customization options work and how powerful they are. Um, so if I want to create a new assignment, um, quite usual settings up here, but the most powerful setting or one of is, is here. Um, you can decide whether each student will receive the same question or the number of the questions will vary. Okay, so I've been using this um, with equations with year 10, top set. Um, and initially we just looked at three step equations. So I click three step equations, and you can see here uh, I'm presented with a whole uh, host of options, all with subtle differences between the questions. Um, on other sites like Manga High, My Maths, um, you know, there'd be a one exercise for each of these options, and that would be it. Away you go. Okay, you wouldn't have any control over the questions, but that's all changed now. Okay, uh, if I had to set an exercise up here, um, at the minute it's going to give them one of every question. Okay, so I might have done some of these in class and I might realise, um, you know, with a negative here, they're going to struggle. So I might want to give them three, four, you know, even five of those questions and so on. You can tailor make your own exercise for your students. Um, in terms of how the questions actually work, how they input on the keyboard, well, if I click preview, you'll be able to see that in action as well. Um, okay, now the way this works, essentially, if I type in anything mathematically correct um, that obviously relates to my initial question, then it's going to tell me, okay, I'm happy with that, what would you like to do next? So if I copy that down into here, oh, not that, okay. If I, let's say, I expand the brackets first, so 2x minus 6, I'm not going to do the minus 14 yet, I'm just going to do this in stages, equals minus 26. Hit enter, it has to think about it, and it says, okay, happy with that. Okay, now if I'm a student I'm stuck at this stage, I may well uh, not, not realise that I can put the 6 and the 14 together, I might want to take a hint. Okay, so it says simplify both sides of the equation by collecting like terms. Like, right, okay, so I need to put these numbers together. That becomes 20. I'm a bit happier now. Let's see if, see if math space likes that. Yep, happy with that. Okay, I'm still not sure I can take another hint. As a teacher, the really powerful thing here is everything they type in, every hint they take, in the analytics, sec analytics section, I can go in and see exactly how they've answered the question, where they're going wrong, etc. Okay, so I'm going to move my 20 now. Uh, this will become 6. Notice how I can do this in as many steps as I want. Um, as long as what is mathematically correct, it's going to be happy. This has been really powerful teaching the kids, you know, not to throw loads of equal signs in there, you know, to make sure what they're writing is mathematically correct. Um, my solution then, okay, I've really been teaching them to go through their, their workings properly. So. I'm going to tell MathSpace this is what I'm thinking, and it's still happy with that. So I could have done this in as many or as few lines as, as I wanted, um, and there we go. So if that was my class using this, um, I would see whoever filled that in, um, every single thing they've done. I'd seen that they've taken a hint here. Uh, if they went wrong, I'd see exactly where they went wrong. Okay, um, really powerful, been really impressed so far, um, and I think this could be big when it launches.